Noted gearhead, hot rodder, statistical expert, and super genius, that would be my friend Iowa Hawk, took a few minutes out of a busy day of gapping spark plugs and did some basic research and tried to figure out how to actually pay for the $3.7 trillion that Barack Obama and the Congress plan to spend in 2011. That's $10 billion a day, folks. Now, witness the firepower of this fully armed and operational Iowa Hawk. We've got a year to pay for. Let's start at 12.01 a.m. January 1st. Look, the only thing more evil than a rich person in the eyes of leftists is a rich corporation. Let's take the two most evil of them all, ExxonMobil and Walmart. Forget high taxes. Let's just take every penny of their combined 2010 global profits. That's $34 billion. Spending all of their money gets us from midnight on January 1st until 9.52 a.m. on January 4th. Okay, not as impressive as we hoped, so now let's take every single penny of profit, every penny from the other 498 fat cat companies on the Fortune 500, all of it. That's $357 billion. That gets us to 2 a.m. on February 9th. Okay, look, we've taken every dime of profit from the big companies and it's only Super Bowl time, so why don't we grab the obscene corporate advertising? That's $250 million which will run the country for 36 minutes, but why stop there? Let's take all of the ad money on all 45 Super Bowls. That's $5 billion. That gets us to 2 p.m. on the same day, February 9th. Look, it's obvious that we can't do this just on the backs of corporations, so if we're going to soak the rich, let's start with the obscene sports salaries. Let's take all of the salaries from the NFL, the NBA, NHL, Major League Baseball, not their endorsement deals, just their salaries. Throw in all of the winnings on the PGA Tour and the money spent with those redneck, knuckle-dracking NASCAR fans as well. That's $9.4 billion, which gets us to uh, 1 p.m. on the next day, February 10th. Okay, look, forget athletes. I mean, take all their money, but it's obviously not enough. Let's get to the rich. Let's take 100% of every penny that anyone makes above $250,000. I can hardly wait. Let's see. Uh, the number of U.S. households is uh, 116 million. The percentage of households above 250K in income, I think that's 1.93%. So the number of households above 250K of income is 2,238,800 households. The total income of those households in excess of $250,000 is 1.412 trillion dollars. Now we're talking. Let's eat the rich. Let's take everything everyone makes in America above $250,000, which gets us from February 10th all the way to 6 p.m. on July 2nd. Well, look, obviously, we're going to have to cut some spending. I know. Why don't we just stop paying for the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan? That's where the money for health care goes after all, right? Into wars for oil? Not another dime for them. Let's just bring them all home right now. That would save us $105 billion in Afghanistan and $159 billion in Iraq for a total of $264 billion. That's enough savings to cover us until 4 p.m. on July 29th. Hey, that's blockbuster season. We need the money, so screw you, Star Wars. We're going to take every penny in movies, toys, lunch boxes, etc. The whole shebang, $25 billion. That'll knock us all the way down to 4 p.m. on August 1st.